What's up, nerds? My name is Steve from Flipping the Nerd, and this is my top 10 horror Christmas ornaments video. Uh, I know you're totally sick of Christmas. It's like January 8th or something when I'm filming this, and you want nothing to have with that holiday. But I was putting my tree away, and I figured, you know, uh, I've shown my tree on Instagram and stuff, and you can follow me, cheap plug, Flipping the Nerd. Um, and basically how I do it at my house, we have three trees, uh, one, well, two in our living room, one real one, one fake one. The real one being like our fancy tree where it's all like crystal and glass and white and very like kind of proper tree. Then we have one that's a complete Disney tree. And then in my basement, I have one that's a complete geek tree, uh, with a focus on horror. Uh, you'll see, I'll put a picture up just to show you me in front of my tree and my man Krampus, uh, just to give you an idea of what it's like. And I figured I got some pretty cool ornaments that are horror related, so why not show them off and see if any of you like them or give you maybe inspiration for your own trees in the future. And that will be the last that you hear from me for Christmas this year, I promise. Well, actually, that's a lie, because this year, 2017, you'll probably hear talking to me about Christmas in December. But you know what I mean. So, before I get to my top ten, uh, just a honorable mention. Now, these aren't technically ornaments, but if you're having a hard time finding horror ornaments like I am, uh, they don't come by very easy. I had to order almost all of them online. So, what I did to substitute and kind of uh, do something different is I use keychains as ornaments. So I use these four for example and you know they work pretty well. I mean they're on a chain so you can hang them up on a tree. You got your little horror figures and I thought that was awesome. I didn't count them as my as my top 10 because it's kind of cheating. They're not actual ornaments but if you're looking for a cheap easy alternative to get your horror Christmas tree going I highly recommend doing uh, keychains as they're very easy to find and not very expensive. So, let's get to my number 10. Uh, this one I got in a box. This was for uh, Killer Crafts when uh, she had a box. I, I She doesn't do boxes anymore, but she does have a Netsy store, which I'm going to put in the information below. So it's Katie over there. And I really like this, so I'm putting it as my number 10. It's a black ball. It says Friday the 13th on it. I really, really dig it. So this is on my tree every year since uh, I got it from her. She's a very, very talented artist. In fact, she just completed an amazing Halloween Horror Nights 26 uh, <clears throat> kind of collage slash um, painting. It's fantastic. I'm actually wearing a Halloween Horror Nights hat right now. So go check her out. Um, uh, Katie, you'll see the link below. Very, very cool of her at Killer Crafts. Coming in at number nine... I had a Krampus obsession in 2016, and this is one of a few Krampus things you're going to see on this list, other than the picture I showed you of the full Krampus next to my tree. Uh, this, is, If you've seen Krampus, you know it's a ridiculous film, but very, very good. This is one of the villains in Krampus. You have a gingerbread man, and it's a two-way. You have the cute, kind of happy gingerbread man, and then the angry, crazy gingerbread man. I really like this thing. Uh, the picture, uh, this was bought at Middle of Beyond, I believe. The picture is a little misleading because they show like two of them on the picture. Kind of, I was thinking maybe it'd be one of each, but it's actually one that turns around. It's still very, very cool. Of course, I keep it on this side because it's an awesome side. So, very cool Christmas uh, Krampus ornament there at number nine. Number eight, okay, it's a two way tie. It's kind of the same thing. I couldn't pick between the two, but I am a huge Walking Dead fan, and this is. My favorite Walking Dead character, it is Rick Grimes. I have the kind of chubbly little version and the more realistic version here. Uh, I really like The Walking Dead. I really like Rick Grimes, so he needed to be represented on my tree, so I'm giving him a tie. Uh, tell me which one you prefer. Do you prefer the little chubbly one or the, uh, the more realistic one? So I couldn't decide. So there you have. That's number eight. Number seven, of course, I need a queen on my... Uh, <coughs> On my tree, so you have a xenomorph. Very, very cool. Very detailed. It's one of the hallmark ornaments. 
like the one that you just saw with uh, the realistic Rick Grimes. Actually, I think they're both Hallmark ornaments now that I think about it. They're very cool, very detailed, and uh, it's not like... It's not made like the other ones. I feel if I could drop this, it wouldn't shatter like the other ones would, so that's a plus for me because I am clumsy as hell. So there you have it, Xenomorph at number seven. Sure. At uh, number six, we have... Sam from Trick or Treat. Absolutely love this thing. We're due for a second Trick or Treat, by the way. Very, very cool. Also from Middle of Beyond. Great website if you haven't checked it out. And number five, we have Krampus once again with another one of the villains. Look at this thing. It is friggin' awesome. Angry Teddy Bear. It's very high quality. I know it's hard to see. Uh, it's not like cheap. It's it's a very, very high quality ornament, so I really like this one as well. Uh, coming in at number four. Four, three, two, yeah. <laughs> number four. Um, this came in a trilogy, so four, three, and two are all from the same pack, but I'm treating them as separate ornaments because they are awesome. We have Jason Voorhees wearing a Christmas hat. Very, very cool. Very detailed. I bought this at a con, like, four or five years ago. Absolutely love this thing. So Jason Voorhees at number four. And then we have, from the same set, <coughs> Leatherface. Very, very detailed. Very cool. Yeah, from the back, it looks like it's Rick Grimes. Oh, he's stuck. Rick Grimes is stuck. Okay. It kind of looks like Rick... Look, look at that hair and that shirt. Hmm. Maybe. Put that on the internet. Rick Grimes eventually becomes Leatherface. So there you have it. Leatherface at number three. And of course, my man Freddy. Same set. At number two. Freddy Krueger is probably uh, my favorite horror villain. So he, was, of course, would win number two. And finally, you could probably guess it at number one. But it's the man himself. My current obsession. And that is... Krampus, also from Middle of Beyond. Just a very, very cool ornament. It's the first thing I received for Christmas this year from my wife, and I absolutely adore it. Look at this thing. Just so, so cool. And that is my number one horror Christmas ornament that I have on my tree. Uh, let me know what kind of Christmas ornaments you guys are, are rocking. Uh, send me pictures on Instagram. Like I said, it's Flipping the Nerd, or Twitter, Flipping the Nerd, or Facebook, Flipping the Nerd. Uh, just send me in if you, ha if you still have them out. You know, it's like November 8th, uh, it's January, not November. January 8th, and I still have my Christmas tree out, but it's it's leaving tomorrow, so I'm putting it back in storage. I just want to do this video first. And let me know which one was your favorite. Would you have ranked them the same way I did? Do you do a horror Christmas tree? I'd love to know. Don't forget to check out the rest of the videos on the channel. I would really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.